as the year comes to an end, I feel like there's a lot of things that are shifting in this world and I think it's necessary to release things that are no longer serving you. You keep replaying the same thoughts, ideas, and more importantly, the same experiences over and over and over again in your mind, keeping you in that emotional state that experience had you in the first time. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tashoya for those of you guys that are new here and if you're not new thank you for coming back. I really do appreciate you guys. <laughs> I do appreciate you and I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys too. So here on the channel we talk about all things related to health, uh, self-care, wellness and fitness. So even if you haven't subscribed just as of yet you just want to see what's good on this channel. What's up? take the time to just look around and then subscribe because I know you like something. So the topic I wanted to discuss today is uh, letting go of your past. More specifically, um, letting go of your past to grow and move on. I think it's a pretty important topic to talk about right now just because as the year is coming to an end, I do feel like a lot of things are shifting. And I mean, things have been shifting, but the last few months, especially this month, feels a little bit different. And I think it's an important time for us, myself included, to see where we're still holding on to the past. So if we're still holding on to the past, it's not possible for us to keep growing. It's not possible for us to reach our highest potential. Anything that basically holds you back or keeps you in a negative mental state, those are the things I would like for us to release so that way we can move on with our lives. <laughs> so how can we go about doing this? Number one, you become aware of your thoughts. So the number one reason why I think a lot of us have a hard time letting go of the past is because of the thoughts that we're consistently having. You keep replaying the same thoughts, ideas, and more importantly, the same experiences over and over and over again in your mind, keeping you in that emotional state that experience had you in the first time. So if you continuously keep that in your mind, that's gonna cause you to stay living in the past. And sometimes this can happen so subtly that it can feel like it's still happening. But again, it's only feeling like it's still happening because we keep the thoughts alive in our mind. So it's important that we take the time to become aware of our thoughts so we can recognize the stories that we've been telling ourselves. We can recognize the events that we keep replaying in our minds that keeps us in that hurt, that keeps us in that pain, that makes us think that pain or that threat is still alive. So how can you become more aware of your thoughts? Well, the first method that I recommend is reflective journaling. Now I know I talk about reflective journaling a lot, but it's such a great and powerful tool that you should implement into your everyday life so that way you can really become aware of yourself, become aware of your, uh, your thoughts and just grow into a better person. Because once you take the time to really reflect and become more self-aware, you're able to see where you can make a change, you're able to see what is serving you and what is no longer serving you. It really just allows you to bring the thoughts that you have right to the surface and allow yourself to go into free flow writing when you are journaling. If you do want more information on that, I do have a video and that I will link. Um, just check that out so you can learn more about reflective journaling so you can start that today to help yourself grow and let go of your past. And once you do become aware of your thoughts through reflective journaling, you can take the time to ask questions like, is this thought true? Okay, if it's not true, then what is true? And if it is true, how can you reframe the thought so to make it more empowering as opposed to disempowering? Another way that you can become aware of your thoughts is through meditation. So taking the time to sit quietly, become aware of your thoughts, your active thoughts, is another way to help you see what it is that you're thinking on a recurring basis. So once you become aware of the thoughts that keep you living in the past, it's time to accept them for what they are. They are experiences of the past. And I'm not saying that to minimize anybody's experiences or anything like that, but it's important to understand that they're not happening anymore. The reason why it feels like it's still happening, it's still here, it's still today, is because of the thoughts that we keep having every single day. That's what makes, that's what keeps the feelings alive. That's why it's hard for us to let go of the past because we keep just thinking on the past, we keep reliving the past. So it's important to let go of the thoughts that you're having in order to release our past. So now that you've taken the time to acknowledge your thoughts, um, it's time for you to release them. So how do you release them? Through forgiveness. Yes, through forgiveness, that's how you get to release your past. Forgiveness is not about the other person or the situation. Forgiveness is about you taking back your peace. <laughs> that's all it's about. It's about you letting go and finding peace within the situation. 
So how can you go about forgiving the person or even yourself? Sometimes you have to forgive yourself when you go through a situation that you thought that you knew better or you did know better, but you just didn't do better. So it's important to forgive others and forgive yourself for going through whatever situation you went through and that keeps us living in the past. And when you do forgive, the thoughts don't automatically go away. The pain doesn't automatically go away. It's just you making that decision to let the past no longer hurt you anymore. It's you making that decision and making the commitment to move forward with your life, to release all the pains that it caused you. When you do forgive, acknowledge that it's a process. It's gonna take some time, but you have to just make the decision to remain committed to your choice of forgiveness so that way you can move forward with your life. So how do you go about forgiving someone or forgiving yourself? Because there are situations where you do need to forgive yourself, myself included. There are three different ways I think you can forgive someone or forgive yourself. Um, you can forgive someone through a conversation. So just speaking to them, letting them know that yes, you have forgiven them. Um, that doesn't excuse any type of behavior or anything like that. Even for yourself, if, if you are forgiving yourself, you shouldn't excuse your own behavior, but you should acknowledge what has happened in the situation so that way you don't do it again. Another way you can do it is through writing a letter. If you don't want to speak to that person at all, that's okay. You can write a letter. So you can write a letter to that person or you can write a letter to yourself so that way you can release the pain into the letter and uh, move on with your life. And another way that you can forgive somebody is by saying a prayer. Just asking God to help you forgive someone or help you forgive yourself so that way you can move forward is another effective way as well. I have done that as well just because there are some times where it was like, impossible for me to forgive. So taking the time to express your willingness to forgive somebody through prayer is another way you can help yourself let go of your past and move forward. In addition, you could use the lived experience of the past as a learning lesson to help you grow even further. And once you forgive that person or forgive yourself, it's important to stay in the present moment. That is how you can actually move forward altogether. Become aware of your thoughts, forgive the other person, accept what happened, and now live in the present moment in order to move forward. So how can you start living in the present moment? By practicing gratitude and setting intentions. Practicing gratitude is a great way to stay present because it requires you to actively seek the things that bring you joy. As opposed to living in the past, all you have to do is think about a thought from way back when and you can just keep going, 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 going. So you can practice gratitude by giving thanks out loud or you can start a gratitude journal and I have a video on that as well, so be sure to check it out if you want to start practicing gratitude journaling. Number two, setting your intentions is a great way to stay in the present moment because when you set an intention, it helps you to stay focused on your desired outcome for that day. When you do stay focused on your intention, that helps you to stay present. It helps you to stay focused on what's ahead as opposed to what was behind. So take the time to practice gratitude or practice more gratitude if you still have trouble living in the past or set intentions every single day to help you stay focused on your desired outcome for the day. So I do hope that helps. I think it's important for us to take the time to just get out of our past, get out of what's been holding us back understand that the things that have been holding us back are no longer happening today. Understand that the stories that we keep telling ourselves is just a story. Something that may have happened maybe years ago or a couple days ago or whatever the case, um, it's not happening today. It's important to remember that every day is a brand new day. Every day is a new opportunity to do something new. Every day is a new opportunity to be, to be refreshed, re re be revived and be new. So I hope this video does help. I thank you so much for watching. If this has helped you, please let me know. Please start implementing some of these tips that I've shared today if you do still have trouble living in the past. I really do want to see everybody grow. I want to see everybody thriving. I want to see everybody just living their best life, okay? Because all of us deserve to live our best lives, okay? So just take the time to just reflect and just see where it is that you are having thoughts that keep you back. So I thank you guys so much. I appreciate you and you have a good day. Thank you. Bye.